Okay, so by now you've learned how to log in and how to organize and reorder your pages and also um, worked on the welcome app, uh, the welcome page with the about teacher app. So let's start talking about some of the other apps that I think are really useful. Um, let's just put it on, um, let's just put on like the beginning video page that we created before. It can really go on any page you want. Um, these pages here just kind of have um, a preset layout, but it's still uh, changeable. So actually, let's work on the My Handouts page, which currently has a file library app on it. Um, so the file library app is a way to upload a document. Um, it could be a PDF, it could be a Word document, any kind of file that you need the kids to have. It could be pictures that you need them to download um, for something, or a sound file you want them to listen to. Anything that you want them to be able to download and keep and have, um, the file library app is probably the way to do it. Um, so what we can do with this app is we're gonna add a new file um, to be in this in this, uh, this part of the page. Um, let's upload a um, storyboard template. So the title is gonna be storyboard template. And now I'm going to find that file by hitting select file and uploading it from my computer. So I need to find it. And I think, I sure hope I have a storyboard template. Here we go, 16 by nine storyboards right on my desktop. And I am going to add that. Uh, and then hit insert file. It'll upload it uh, to the page. I can give a description. Um, use this template when um, creating storyboards. Print at home. There we go. And uh, there we go. You could add um, display dates so it only displays between certain dates. Um, and you could put tags in, but I don't think any of us are going to get to having hundreds and hundreds of files that kids are going to have to search through tags to find them. So probably better off just leaving those things blank. Go ahead and hit save. And now if we go look um, at my, the My Handouts page, you see the storyboard template is available. And now when I click on it, it opens up a template. I can download it. I can print it. Um, it's a file that I'm hosting locally here on DB's website, and um, unless you delete it, it's not going anywhere. So, like I said, Excel files, PDFs, documents, um, you know, pictures, pretty much anything's up for grabs um, that you want to upload and put in your file library app. Right? We could add another file, um, you know, uh, class uh, syllabus, right? And we can add that. That should live um, somewhere in here in my handouts folder. There we go. Class syllabus. We'll put the old one up. Why not? There we go. Insert that. Um, please sign and return. All right. Save that. And now there will be two. Um, files on the uh, handouts page. Now the green button, the little plus is always for adding more files to your file library. Uh, the gray pencil is for editing the files that are already on there. So you know what? That was an old class syllabus. I probably should get it off. So I could make it inactive, which would make it not show up, but it stays there just for safekeeping. Or if you've got too much and it's too confusing, right, we can always delete it. Um, you can also sort Right, I could change the order. I would like the storyboard template to be above the class syllabus, please. Um, and you can also um, change how many are on a single page. Um, you know, you can look through the options, but let's get rid of that class syllabus. Let's delete that off there. There we go. And I'm done. And now there should only be the storyboard template on my links, on my uh, file library. Uh, the other app that is going to be really useful for your students is going to be the links um, app. So let's put that underneath the file library app. And I'm actually going to put a divider between these two so that it looks a little more visually appealing on the page. So I got my files and then a line and then the link library. So here is where if there's a video or an article online I want the students to read, I could put a link to shoot them to that thing. So let's put a link to um, something simple like YouTube, right? So the link could be just YouTube, go watch things. 
and the address. This is probably where you want to just go to actually go to YouTube um, or be looking at whatever link you, you want to send them to. Copy it and then um, paste uh, that address in there. Same thing, you have um, display durations if you like. We can save that and now if we reload our page you see we have our storyboard template, we have our divider line, and then we have our link um, to YouTube. Um, so if you've got a lot of different articles or you find interesting things on the web um, that are current, right? you could use the link library to shoot kids to it, tell them, hey, the link's online, just go click through. It's, it'll be fine on their phone too. Um, right? You can preview what it's gonna look like on a computer and you can preview what your website's gonna look like on a phone as well by clicking the little mobile button so you'll see they'll have storyboard template and YouTube on their phone as well which is pretty nice. All right. So file library, uh, link library, um, those are probably going to be the two most used ones, um, ways to disseminate information to students and we'll do a couple more here as we go forward.